Welcome to the Veterans Gaming Podcast. This is Season 2, Episode 4 of my Darby County Career Mode. Uh, if you have enjoyed my shows and you want to donate, uh, right there, uh, dollar sign Veterans Gaming 24, that's my cash app. If you want to follow me on uh, Twitter, uh, my hashtag is at SmoothOp75. If you want to follow me on TikTok, Twitch, or YouTube, uh, my channel is Veterans Gaming Podcast, all in lowercase. Also, uh, I have a website. It's uh, veteransgamingpodcast.com. If you've got suggestions or comments, you can feel free to join that website. Now, uh, in the last uh, game, it was a tough loss, uh, a last-second loss to uh, Darby County, who are leading the league. They were the league leaders, and uh, now they just uh, basically opened up a seven-point lead on us. Uh, eight games play, but we've got about 38 games left to go, so uh, plenty of time to catch them, but I want to start catching them now, especially, like I said, because they beat us, and uh, they're the only undefeated team in the league right now. So our next matchup is going to be against Blackburn Rovers at home who only who sit with five points, so this is an opportunity to get three points and uh, begin the process of catching up to um, Sheffield United. Right now, my popularity is at 85. And uh, we'll worry about signing somebody from England later on, probably in the transfer window. All right. Oh, okay, man, I'm in the Europa League. I, don't, I guess, like I said, uh, I didn't even know I was in the Europa League until I checked the schedule. So I guess by winning the FA Cup last season, um, I got a spot in the Europa League. So actually, that's gonna be uh that's gonna be my next match. I think I'm guessing that's gonna be uh Shamrock Rovers. I don't know if it's Celtic or not, but I'll deal with that um, later. And then away to Bolton, Bolton who really battled us uh, last year in the in League One. Um, you know, up until the last like ten games of the season, they were uh, right on our tails, and it was a real good three-two game that I played against them uh, the first game last season. Um, the second game was the last game of the season. I simulated that because we had already won the league, and uh, we won that matchup too. So Bolton's going to be looking for some uh, retribution. But for now, let's concentrate on uh, Blackburn. As you can see right here, Archer uh, got a late goal, basically the last kick of the match to beat us one nothing. So uh, it's looking good for Sheffield United right now. But that's that's done. Tough loss, but we got to move on. So Blackburn, here's the scouting report. They've lost four in a row. They're struggling. Uh, they play a 5-2-2-1, kind of an unusual formation. Uh, they only got one star player, uh, Smodix, who is their, uh, their right winger. They have a standard uh, tactical vision. Let's go to the training. Let's go. Let's get the uh, 2,500 points needed, and let's get uh, the press proven play style on top of the other play style that uh, the three players doing this uh, training are going to have. And then uh, we'll go right to the match. Well, all right. I'll start from scratch here. Okay, Yankovic. All right, mm. that makes that's gonna make it tough here. Might not, might not get the points necessary, but we'll see. Ah, oh, crap. Nope. Okay, let's retry that drill. Let's uh, let's do better this time. And also, uh, in my last episode, I had a tough, uh, I scored a goal in the 90th minute, and I thought I had Birmingham beat, but they ended up scoring on me as well. So that was a 3-3 tie. So we basically lost uh, three points overall in uh, my last episode. But, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. But again, it's early in the season. We've got plenty of time to make up for that loss. 
So uh, Simmons, Yankovic, and Bueno are going to be press proven. Let's go to kickoff. Let's go to. Uh, uh, I'm going to put Kitching instead of Gardner on this one. Uh, everybody is. Uh, everybody's healthy. That's the only change I'm going to make. And uh, no, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to keep it like that. Never mind. But I'm going to start Bustos instead of Madero. I'll do that. Everything else is going to be. Everything else is. Uh, Thing else is good to go, and I'm gonna have Arthur coming for Silva. Let's go. Let's make this happen. Let's get a win against the bo almost bottom of the table, Blackburn Rovers. Shelby Simmons, uh, a superstar at age 21. So much promise in this game and in real life too. He's with RP, RP, RB Lipsing in Germany on loan from PSG. Good job, Hope. Bustos. Ooh. Shall we? Look at Hope. Yankovic. Yankovic. Okay, beautiful job. Yankovic. Oh, good save by Wallstead, though. That should have been one nothing. But Hope is the one that made that happen. Corner. Yankovic. Bio. Takes a shot. No. Bueno. Yankovic. Okay. Travis. Smodix. Travis. Smodix. Ooh, almost one nothing there. Oh, there's a foul. Oh, crap. Pickering, no. I think Pickering uh, was on Derby County when I started the career mode. I think he might be one of the center backs that I moved on from way back when I started, when I rebuilt. I basically rebuilt the team. Wilson, Yankovic. Oh, not a great pass there. Buckley. Well, there we go. Bio. Bio. Ah, that was not a good idea to pass it. Travis. Britton. Okay, Britain. Smodix, uh-oh. Good save by Walton there. That should have been one nothing now. Blackburn, quite frankly. A thief. Good clearance. There we go. Shabby, a thief. Bio. Oh, oh, Aurora. Hi. Um. Man, sometimes Bio's passing is just atrocious. Britain. Travis. Britain. Good job, Bustos. Good defending there. 
by uh, Blackburn, Torp, Tronstead. And oh, fuck, it's one nothing Blackburn. Oh, Wilson, Kane Wilson, that was shit defending. That was shit defending overall. 25 minutes in, down one nothing. Kane Wilson. Here you go, Bueno. No. Bustos. Bustos. Shoots it. Good shot. Lost that with the save. Pickering. Bio. Simmons. Oh, what a save by Wallstead. Wow. Got to give him credit for that save. Incredible. Yankovic. No. Okay. Blackburn leads 1-0, 32 minutes in. That's out of bounds. That's Blackburn ball. That's our ball now. Okay, go. Simmons. With the cross. Oh. Overshot it. King Wilson. Shoots. No. Bueno. Ooh, I thought that went in. Okay. That would have been a great goal. Okay. 37 minutes. Getting close to halftime here. Pickering. Bustos. Atchison. Very physical there on Yankovic. A thief. No. A Rorden. Tronstead. Oh, I am good defending there. Tronstead. Buckley. Oh, Balka, good, good job there. Yankovic. Bio. Shoots, no. So it looks like Blackburn's gonna have a one nothing lead at the half here. All right. Ah, oh, not a good, not a good first half for us, quite frankly. So let's see what we can. Uh, we got to improve, obviously. Let's try to get a quick goal here. Bustos. Bustos, no. Smodix. Smodix. Hull. Hyam, great defense. That was good defending. Shavi Simmons steals the ball. Now, there we go. Bio. Okay, ah, uh, that was a technical difficulty there. They cost us a goal. This happened last episode, too. Wilson. Yankovic, Yankovic. Ah. Oh. Gallagher.
Britain. That's offside. Should be offside. Smodix. No. Oh, Walton. Wilson. Yankovic. Oh, Shabby. You're in the way. You stay in the way there. Garner. Bustos. Shabby. There we go. Wilson. Good shot. All right, we got 30 minutes left. Still struggling here. Down one nothing. Yankovic. Kane Wilson with a cross. No. Bueno, a thief. No. A thief again. Okay, that's going to be a, it's going to be a corner. 66 minutes. Yankovic. Bustos. Garner. Okay. Okay, we're running out of we're running out of time here. Okay. Smotics. Walton, good save. All right, come on, come on, guys. Not a very good performance at all here. A thief. Okay, great save by Walton. Another corner. All right, we're struggling big time. Oh, another save. Thief, Hope, Bueno, Garner, okay, that's out, oh, damn it, I'll buy all your sh Shitty ass passing. There we go. Yankovic. Bio. Shoot it. No. Get him out of here. Bio, come on, bro. Get the whole front line out of there. Ah, uh, let's put Jinsu. Nonto. Dok. Prestiani, Madibo. I mean, this shit is unacceptable. We got to make a comeback here in the last 10 minutes. So we need some fresh legs. Madibo. Jinsu, Nonto. There we go. Doke. Madibo. Madibo. Oh, shit. Okay, seven minutes left. Leonard. Okay, that's out. All right. We still got a small chance here to at least get a point out of here. Restiani. Okay, it's 
Smolix. Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, Balker. There we go. Dope. Dope. We're tied. Yes, sir. Yeah, we tied it at the end. All right, beautiful. Devastation for Blackburn. Ooh, terrible match, to be honest. And we almost got shut out for the second game in a row, too. But Doak right here, saving the day. Jinsu get to pass the keeper. Oh, just gets it past the right knee of the keeper. Yeah, I'm loving it. Just save the point. Okay, we're running out of time here. Oh, Bastiani, what the fuck, bro? Okay, it's a tie. We tied at one. Oh, horrible. I'm not getting results these last two games. All right. We gotta now we gotta go to the Europa League. We're gonna make our debut there. Ah. Oh. But if we play like this, we got no chance in the Europa League. Um, man of the match, definitely not one of our guys. It's uh Tronstead who scored a goal. Uh everybody else was quite frankly not very good. Just very, very average, very pedestrian performance. And we just still haven't recovered, I guess, from that loss to uh, loss to Sheffield United. But at the end right here, Balker made the big steal. And uh, right there, we were able to rescue a point. So at least we didn't we didn't lose at home. But oh, that was that was a shit performance, to be honest. Okay, let's go to the post match interview. Your team, yeah, we look beat. Was that draw deserved or was it luck? And you know what? We uh we didn't give up, so that that's all that matters here. Uh and uh we we worked hard and we were determined and we made it we made it happen. So we didn't we didn't lose all three points. Uh you know, we're kind of struggling these last two games, but uh, we'll we'll stick together and we're gonna we're gonna turn this thing around. We'll be better. What did you make of the result? You know, they, they put, they put, hey, what's up? Uh, the players, they put, they did everything they could out there. Could have been better, but it could have been worse. So at the end of the day, we pulled off a draw in the last minute. All right. So now we're going to take on a, a team called Shamrock Rovers, and this is going to be our first ever. Europa League game, but before that, uh, Hugh Park, he's gone. He's on loan. He's going to Italy to Sampdoria for six months, and let's see if uh, let's see if he gets better. Let's advance. Okay, let's go to uh, emails. Park is uh, gone. Bustos. Uh, let's put him on a performance based. Uh, Training plan, where's he at? Uh, really nice prospect. Who he'll get better as time goes on. Okay, let's look at the standings here in the Europa League. We're in Group G with Shamrock Rovers. I have no idea where they're from. Sevilla from Spain and Sporting from Portugal. So this is going to be a tough group. So let's go to match day. Let's uh, pre match report. Like I said, I know nothing about these guys. Uh, they play a 5-2-3. They've got some stars on particularly on the right side. Uh, they play a standard, have a standard tactical vision. Let me uh 
Oh, thank you. All right. Um, hope you like the show. Let me find out where Shamrock Rovers is from, because I know they're not definitely not Celtic. That's for sure. They're not Celtic from a. Okay, Shamrock Rovers. Okay, they play in the Irish Premier League. Uh, rubbish. Okay, well, let's find out if they're rubbish or not. But let's go to training first. The training session, we're going to collect the trophies, get the 2,500 points for the uh, press proven playing style. Uh, yeah, this is the first time I've ever heard of uh, of uh, Shamrock Rovers. Obviously, I don't I don't follow the Irish Premier League, so pardon my uh, pardon me not knowing that, but I, I do now. And uh, from what I searched a couple of minutes ago, uh, they're fifth in the Irish Premier League. So I guess in that league, they're a pretty decent squad in that league. But uh, let's see what we do here in the Europa League. Oh, uh, this guy right here, uh, Jankovic. From my, he was from the Derby County Youth Academy in uh, League One last season. Um, they, uh, he was the leading goal scorer, an 18 year old prospect right here. Uh, Yankovic in the middle, there. Uh, Shavi Simmons, I got him from, uh, got him from PSG, and I also got Ugo Bueno from Wolves. And then, like I said, Boris Yankovic, a uh, my star from the Derby County Youth Academy. I've also got a couple other players from the Youth Academy. Uh, Bustos, who's the midfielder, one of the midfielders, and then Aiden Gardner, who is the center back. I think he'll eventually be the captain somewhere down the road. Uh, I'm from uh, originally from Puerto Rico, but I'm living in uh, Missouri now. I'm excited for everybody. How uh, confident are you kick off with a win against uh, the Rovers? Uh, we can't wait. Uh, this is our first uh, our first campaign in Europe in many years for Derby County, so I'm excited about it. Uh, we look stronger. Will this be one of your easier games? I don't think so. You can never be sure. Okay, Aston Villa, is that where you're, are you from that area, from London? From, uh, I think they're in West London, correct? Uh, so on the transfer window, looking at the situation, are you comfortable with your squad? Yes, I am. Yeah, I think I've got good cover everywhere. Birmingham. So you're from Birmingham, but you don't support uh are is that in is Aston Villa in Birmingham or in, I thought they were in London. Uh correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, that team is very happy. Let's go to kickoff. Uh I'm gonna put the five guys that bailed me out. So Madibo will still be there. I'm gonna put Jim Sue. Okay, okay. For whatever reason, I thought Aston Villa was in London. I'm confusing them with West Ham because their uniforms are basically the same. Uh, I am going to make one change here. I'm going to put Gardner in the middle. I'm going to sit Hope down, and I'm going to put Kitching for this matchup. And Hope, I'm going to sit him down, and I'm going to play. Put Anchor. And then Diara will be in place of um Madibo. So I'm gonna sit Simmons down. I'm not happy with how these guys this group as a core play, so I'm gonna put the whole the whole front four is gonna be yeah, yeah, you guys are pretty much twins. Uh you guys in West Ham. So that's why I confused them. Uh I don't know a whole lot about Aston Villa. I know they won the uh, what's called the Champions League now. I know they won the European Cup uh back in 1982. And I know that uh, I, Unai Emery's got him in fourth place and had him kind of going in the league a little bit, but uh, Liverpool, Arsenal, and Man City just just too strong at this point. But at least Unai Emery got some revenge on Arsenal, uh, giving Arsenal their first defeat of the season uh, back in I want to say October, November time frame, and I, I was watching that game. And uh, Bailey, Bailey is a heck of a winger; he's very good. There's Balker. Jinsu, the hero. Oh, look at that pass to Nonto. To Prestiani. 
What? Oh, that's okay. He scored anyway. All right, one nothing. Darby County. Wow, that would have been highway robbery right there to hit the post. But it back in the 1880s, West Ham was a cricket club, and they beat Villa's football team in a cricket match. So Villa gave him with a shirt as a reward, and West Ham formed as a football club from there. Interesting. Thank you, Ray. Did not know that. Uh, like I said, I'm from Puerto Rico. Not basically no history. Uh, of this sport there, but they're starting to come along, and uh, there's a young player named Jeremy De Leon. He's on the Real Madrid Madrid B team, so there there is progress, and so there's a, a couple other guys from Puerto Rico. They play outside of, you know, a couple of them in MLS and things like that, so if we can get uh, everybody on that national team playing in Europe, um, I think uh, I think eventually Puerto Rico can make some noise in, the con in CONCACAF, and then maybe maybe around the world, but but uh, the sport is really gaining a lot of traction in the last fifteen to twenty years. Now nowadays, uh, they show Champions League matches on TV in Puerto Rico, which is great. And uh, about back in two thousand and twelve, uh, Spain. Spain played an international friendly against Puerto Rico in Puerto Rico, and that was prime Spain with uh, uh, Pique and Puyol and Xavi and uh, Andres Iniesta and uh, David Villa. So it was a prime uh, Spain squad that would, uh, they had just uh, won the Euro, smashing Italy. Jinsu, bad pass. So that's a little bit of, that's a little bit of uh, history of uh the Puerto Rican national team, which, you know, they really haven't done much. But uh, it is it's it is looking up, though. The only way to go is up. Oh, Jinsu almost stole it there. That's right. You're correct. It's getting, uh, it's getting a lot bigger in the United States. As a matter of fact, where, where I live, I live in, a, I live in Kansas City. Uh, we have an MLS team. Oh, shit. What a, what a terrible, what a, that was just an unlucky bounce. Uh, we have a team called Sporting KC, and uh, I've been to a couple of the games. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I went to see them play the LA Galaxy, and uh, I sat in the supporter section, and man, I had a good time. I had a great time. Uh, they were up two to nothing, and then the Galaxy, in like 20 minutes, scored three goals to get the win. All right, 1-1. One, one. Uh, bad bounce there. But, I mean, you can say Shamrock Rovers got a bad bounce on the goal Prestiani scored. So, I guess it's all evened out. Nonto, we got Nonto from Leeds United. Kane Wilson, really good. Really good uh, wing back. Okay, Kumas. Okay. Oh, crap. Clark. Okay, there's, there we go, Kumas, Clark. Kenny, okay. Okay, the, okay, the defense the defense held up here. Lop, Lopez, O'Neal. Oh, okay, good save. Good save by Walton. Okay. And uh, so they play at uh, Villa Park, obviously. Ooh, Villa Park. Uh, I, what I know about Villa Park is uh, back in 1999, that's when that epic uh, FA Cup semifinal took place between uh, Manchester United and Arsenal, where Ryan Giggs scored that goal off of that bad pass from Vieira. And uh, that was one of the catalysts, one of the biggest moments in that uh, treble-winning season for Man United. And that's the game where uh, David Beckham, speaking of Beckham, he scored an unbelievable curve, an unbelievable goal in that game. Kenny, two to one Shamrock Rovers. Mm. And I think it was this guy again. Our defense just tends to be shit. That's our problem.
I'm assuming that that, uh, that Villa Park, I'm assuming that that stadium is over 100. I'm going to assume that that stadium is over 100 years old. Oh, dope. Kumas. Oh, great. Great tackle there by Gardner. Madibo. Okay, can we use this as a catalyst? No. Clark. Poor. O'Neal. Makina. Oh, nice job, Prestiani. Oh, here we go. Bueno. Tononto. Tononto. Dude, what kind of pass is that? 1874. Okay. Uh, long before you and I uh, showed up. <laughs> All right, uh, still two to one. Kumas, Clark, four. Burn. Ooh, almost three to one. Man, our defense is just getting torn apart here in the first half. Pathetic. Bueno. Oh, no, Maribo. Okay, good save. Okay, uh, hold on just a second. Oh, come on. Okay, uh, yeah, I remember... Uh, I know when I was watching that uh, Aston Villa Arsenal game, that Aston Villa crowd was, they were alive. And I think I was watching, uh, I think they played Man City at home. And uh, that crowd was buzzing, buzzing. So, yeah. I'm sure going, uh, I'm sure going to Villa Park is a, a great experience. Okay. O'Neal. Balker. Gets it out of there. Wilson. All right, let's get let's get something going here. Doke. There we go. Oh, Prestiani, he's got this. Oh, beautiful pass to Jin Su, and it's tied at two. Were you there for the Manchester City game this year? Oh, your ears are ringing when you come out. I'll, I'll bet. But that that's the that's the fun thing. Believe it or not, the sporty the the stadium in Kansas City, it's it's loud too. The uh for uh sporting uh KC, even though obviously MLS is nowhere is not at the level of the Premier League, but it's still a fun experience. I had, I had a great time. And when you sit in the supporter section, you actually don't sit down, you're standing the whole game, you're standing both halves. But even with that, still had a great time. The seats in the supporter sections are, uh, are bleachers, really. So they're not seats, per se. They're kind of the old school, kind of like the high school stands, so to speak. Uh-oh, look at this pass. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yes. No question, and that's why, uh, that's why I love watching the Premier League, because of that passion. Um, I started really getting into the Premier League around uh, that 2002, to the, right out around that uh, Korea World Cup, the Japan-Korea World Cup. That's when I started hearing about Arsenal and Man United. Yes, you do take it very seriously. I respect that. Um, and that's how uh, I started really becoming, getting into it, learning about Man United and, and Arsenal and uh, Liverpool, which were the big three. And then uh, the next season is when Arsenal went undefeated. And then the next season, Jose Mourinho went to Chelsea, and you know what he did there. So I've been following it ever since. I've always been a I've always been a soccer fan. The thing about it is, right around that time, that two thousand and two two thousand and three time frame, that's when you started really. See, yeah, that's when you started to see it more on television on this side of the pond. And now. Uh, the Premier League is be is it's worldwide. Uh, I don't know if you uh. Oh, nice. 
I don't know if you watched the uh, Liverpool Man United game uh, last weekend, but that crowd in uh, that crowd in tele in uh, Tennessee for the pregame show on uh, on Peacock for that pregame show with Tim Howard and the and the Robbie Boys and uh, Rebecca Lowe. I mean, that was a huge crowd, and to see to watch a soccer match. And that's something you would have never seen 25, 30 years ago here in the States. So that's great. Garner with a clearance. Bueno. Oh, what a pass. Okay, Nonto, just hold it. Nice hold up play. Balker. Dope. Oh, look at that pass. Cheeky pass to Prestiani. That was not a good pass. Byron. Byrne, excuse me. Cleary. Lopez. Farugia. Cleary. Oh, Byrne, Farugia. Okay. Now, uh, you, you said you were born in 2003. Uh, so... I'm going to go way back on you. Uh, the first time I actually saw the sport was back in around 19, uh, 1982 when they had that World Cup. And they used to... Uh, so my first exposure was uh, they used to be a highlight show and they would show highlights of uh, all the World Cup matches from that year. Obviously, I was a small child, so I really didn't know what it was, but I was I was fascinated by it, though. Oh, look at Kane Wilson. Kane Wilson's going to take it himself here to Jinsu. Oh, my goodness. That's right. They won that chip, what was called the European Cup back then. They beat Bayern Munich, if I'm not mistaken. Wow, that should have been three to two right there. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Substitution by Shamrock Rovers, who put up a very good showing. But Prestiani. Oh, look at this. Prestiani. Prestiani. Jinsu. Oh, almost. Almost. In Rotterdam, okay. Corner kick by Prestiani. Kitching. Okay. I know, uh, obviously, you being born in 03, um, I'm sure you don't... I'm sure you've heard about that uh, that Champions League final in uh, Istanbul between uh, AC Milan and Liverpool. I actually watched that I watched it at home. I had the day off, and I'm glad I did. That's one of the best matches I've ever. That match is uh, legendary. Let's see. Uh, your granddad gave me a 1982 shirt. Oh, awesome! I'm sure that's worth a. Uh, I'm sure that's worth some pretty good quid, isn't it? I mean, I'm sure it is, but I'm sure because your grandfather gave it to you, I'm sure you have no plans on a, you know, obviously that's a, a an emotional, a sentimental piece of a, piece of memorabilia. So I'm sure you have no plans on a, you don't, I'm sure you don't, you're not planning on selling that, but I'm sure you could get a very good, a very good amount of money for it. There we go. Look at this. Jinsu, oh, 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 almost scored there. All right. Garner, great header. Faruja, Burn, Kenny, oh, good job, Kitching, Madibo, Nonto, all oh, acres of space here. Oh, but Horde is there. Okay, Faruja. Madibo. Oh, outstanding defending. Kitching. Madibo. Oh, oh, there we go. Nonto. Shoots. Okay. Decent shot. Yeah, I'm sure it's there is no price for something like that. Ben Doak. Okay, oh, Wilson. Oh. Blazing speed. Tononto. And it's three to two. 
with 10 minutes left in the match. Well, listen, if you like this channel, um, my Twitch name is uh, Veterans Gaming Podcast. Uh, that's the same name for my TikTok and also for my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, this is like my fourth career mode. I did one for Blackpool. I did one for Preston North End and I did one for Bristol City. Uh, for the Bristol City one, I did a, uh, I won the quadruple. So you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Again, uh, it's called Veterans Gaming Podcast, all in lowercase. Okay, you're, uh, he played midfield. What, what, what was his name? So I can look him up. Okay, let's start making some subs here. Uh, let's put them, let's put them in the guy, Silva. Uh, yeah, I'd love to know, I'd love to know your grandfather's name so I can look him up and uh, learn a little bit more about him. Okay, O'Neill, Lopez. Okay. Okay, looks like we're gonna have a successful uh, first game in Europe. Kitching. Silva from the uh, a youth academy product. Nonto, Nonto. Oh, no, no luck there. Burn. Okay, O'Neill. Burke. Clark. O'Neill. Kenny. Oh, off the post. Silva. Oh, we lucked out there. We got we got lucky in that one. All right, they got two minutes to try to tie it. Okay. Four. Uh oh. Kenny. Oh crap! Burn. Oh, great save. Great job by Gardner. He might have saved the match there. Okay, we're up 3-2. to two. Closing seconds. Cleared by Wilson. Uh-oh. Get it. Okay, and we win. We hang on to win. Brian McCready. Okay, I'll look him up. Okay, we hang on to win 3-2. Uh, to two. So we win our first. Uh... And uh, you said he played for West Brom. Okay. Uh, okay, I found him. Uh, Brian Leslie McCready, uh, March 25th of 1942. To Tuta, and he passed away in 2017. Uh, played uh, played 14 games. Played for Mansfield Town, Worcester City, Banbury United. Before West Brom, he played. Uh, well, he was signed with Hull City, but he didn't play for Hull City. But he did play. For, he did play for West Brom and for Mansfield Town. Uh, I believe that's your grandfather. Okay, performances. Nonto, a goal and a, okay, awesome, awesome. Wow, got me a piece of history right here. All right, uh, Ben Doak. Uh, overall, I think these guys were solid. My front three: uh, Madibo Prestiani, man of the match, a goal and an assist. Uh, my center backs, I think they were solid. Christian Walton, the captain, had seven saves, so a very good performance by him. Uh, we had some rough spots that we need to work on and on defense, but. We got the W. Right there, it hit the post. But look at that, he just... We got a lucky bounce there. Oh, thank you. And uh, while you're on my YouTube channel, check out... Uh, check out last season. Uh, this is from season two. Check out season one. It's episode 16, greatest comeback ever. I played Chelsea in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. I'm not going to spoil it for you. You just have to watch the whole thing. It's absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. And then uh, right here, John Johnny Kenny was out here killing us with his two goals. 
But right here, uh, Jin Su, right before half, Prestiani takes him slow, gets draws the keeper out, and give and basically makes it wide open right there for Jin Su to tie it at two. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So there I am, and then uh, right here, Nonto with the pass from Kane Wilson almost ripped the net off. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, nice, nice. I think I have a, I think I have a Discord account, but Discord's a little complicated for me to understand. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of old, if you can't tell. So. Let's go to the post-match interview for this first game in the Europa League. But yeah, like I said, look up. Uh... Okay, great. Great. Um, again, look up season one, episode 16. Or there's another video where I have that game separate. It's called The Greatest Comeback Ever. Just watch it from start to finish and then get back with me. Okay, uh, are you happy with today's performance? I mean, every player did their job. So, yeah, if you've got, if you've got 35 minutes, it'll be worth it. It'll be worth your time. Uh, play close running, Shamrock Rovers, they, they did play a good game. But I think it would have been different if we'd scored, if we had scored early. I'll say that. We won. But we, we should take more chances. Up against Rovers, the team was able to turn, uh, what did you do differently? Uh, we were resilient because we we went down, we went down twice. Okay. Thank you. I'll make a note of that Discord. Thank you so much, Mr. Bold, for uh, joining me. All right, now uh, my next match, I might, uh, I might end the podcast with this one. I'm not sure. I may, I might play another match. Uh, mm -hmm. Haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm gonna go back to playing in the league. I'm in fifth. Uh, crushing loss to Darby County, and then I barely, not to Darby County, excuse me, to uh, Sheffield United, and then I barely, I barely got, eat that a point against the uh, Blackburn Rovers. We've got to do better. So now we're gonna go up against Bolton, and right now Bolton they're sitting in 18th place. Um, both in in League One last season, uh, we finished first. They finished second, and they were hot on my tails for much of the season. So let's advance. Uh, let's see. Nonto wants to chat, so let's see what Nonto want, has to say. Yeah, I think he. I'll think about it, but I think I'll start Nonto. One of the things about notice about this game, if you have a player in the chat here. Uh, if they say something like this, uh, it would do you good to play that player because they 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 tend to show out in a positive way. All right, Bolton's lineup. Uh, they play a 5-3-2 holding. Uh, no star players. I know about Matheson. I've heard uh, on the right wing. I've heard he's a pretty decent player. Uh, they did win their last game, but Bolton has kind of struggled in uh, the EFL championship. Uh, they do do a lot of gang and pressing. So let's go to the training session. Let's collect the trophies and let's rock and roll. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something then, Mr. Bold. Uh, are you, since you're a, you're a young 20, 21 year old, uh, are you any good? Are you any good at uh, playing the game? Are you, uh, basically I'm asking, are you a professional player in any way? Yeah. Feel free to answer when you have the opportunity. Okay, I've got the 2,500 points. So let's go ahead and get up on out of here. And, uh, oh, you're, pretty, you're a pretty good player, okay. Are you, uh, are you a professional? Or are you just a good PlayStation player like I am? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to kickoff. We're going to go at Bolton. Uh, let's see. We're going to have to make some uh, make some changes here. 
Uh, I'm going to. Oh, well, that's funny. I I got clips of me as a manager, and those are the clips that you see here. So we're kind of in the in the same boat. Okay, I'm going to make some changes here. I'm gonna let's see anchor. I'm gonna put anchor here instead of Gardner. And then I'm gonna put a Vandenberg right here. Hope will be in the middle. Uh, Madibo. I'm not gonna play Madibo at all. I'm gonna put Diarra, and then Bustos will be on the bench. And then I'm gonna put my, yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna rest everybody else. Okay, sl slightly above average. You've got a. Oh, really? Uh, what's your, what's your Twitch channel so I can, uh, so I can follow you? Oh, okay, I got you right here. Okay, I'll follow you as soon as I get off, uh, as soon as I get off the air here. Wow, I got to meet somebody today that uh, his grandfather was a was a footballer. Awesome! This is a fantastic. You made you made my day here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna make one sub. One sub. I'm going to play. Uh, I'm gonna put Silva in just because of those play styles right there. So I'm gonna put him in instead of uh, Bueno. So he's gonna get a, a full fledged start here. Yeah, I need to get a I need to get a better understanding of a uh, Discord. But I'm more I'm more into YouTube and uh TikTok than I am of Discord. Oh, by the way, uh just please tell your friends about this show if you're really liking it. Also, uh if you'd like to donate uh right there where it says uh the dollar sign veterans gaming 24, you can donate to the show. Uh I've been on this for about 6 months. I'm trying to trying to keep it going. And I think I'm headed in the right direction. All right, let's rock and roll here. Diarra, Hope, Vandenberg, his first start of the season. Arthur, oh, oh, that would have been big. Toll, Thomason, Johnston, Almeida Santos. Oh, by almost stole it there. Toll, Almeida Santos. Xavi, a thief. Oh, that was amazing. Oh, oh, come on now. Oh, that should have been a foul. But I guess they're going to call it a clean tackle. Almeida Santos. Oh, almost got stolen again. Toll. Oh, that's a foul on us? Yes, I am. I served in the... Uh, United States uh, Navy and in the United States Army. That was a long time ago, though. Uh, I had I used to have hair back then. <laughs> oh, Bio, look at this pass, Shawi Simmons, and he should be able to blow by the defender here. It should be one nothing. Oh, the angle! I took a bad angle there. Bad angle. All right. Arthur. Oh, bio. Nah, that wasn't that wasn't gonna work. But right now we're we're playing a lot better than Bolton. We're really putting pressure on him. We keep doing this, we'll have a goal. Oh the pass just wasn't strong enough there. Yayo. Great job by Shabby Simmons. Thank you. But again, uh, if you're liking the if you're liking the content of this channel, uh, let as many people as you can know about this channel. Let as let as many Aston Villa of your fellow Villa fans know, your fellow villains. Okay, Shabby Simmons, Yankovic, Arthur. A Brazil, the young Brazilian. Diarra shoots. Ooh, good save. Good save by Coleman there. Very good save. Corner. Yankovic. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. 
Matheson. Matheson. Yayo. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Diarra. Silva. Okay, yeah, be smart. Be smart there. Anchor. Hope. Wesley Hope, the center back who uh, basically won the FA Cup for us last season against uh, Tottenham. Oh. Okay. Oh, not quite. We've been the better team these first 25 minutes, but no goal to show for it yet. A thief. No, not quite. Taking a long distance shot. All right. Coleman? Toll. Williams? Toll. Okay. Almeida Santos? Dempsey? Arthur. There we go. Oh, here we go. Bio. Can you get some support? No. Good tackle by Almeida Santos there. Williams. Wow. Blazing speed. Oh, great job by Anchor. Ooh. 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 That could have been trouble there. But now, a thief. A thief. Oh, what a pass. Ah, oh, a little too strong there. 300 followers? Great. Thank you. Okay, Johnston. A thief. There's Arthur. Let's see. Oh, Arthur. Yankovic. Ah, oh, that shot was too weak, but he was he was blanketed by the defender there. Okay. Arthur. To a thief. Yes, sir. One nothing. Thank you. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd love the support. We just went up one nothing here on uh, Bolton. So I'll try to find you on my uh, on uh, Discord as well, and we'll, we'll uh, make it happen. I'm love, I'm love, I'm love the fact that you came on here. Uh, much respect to your grandfather, Mr. McGready. And don't ever sell that shirt, ever. All right. Akrama Fief with a goal in the 44th, 41st minute. Okay. Okay. Let's let's try to keep it one nothing if nothing else. Oh no, no, no. Oh. Oh no. No. Oh, what a save. Silva. Okay, we'll, we'll have a clean sheet at least if nothing else. Bio. Jankovic. Oh, what a pass. Oh. What a pass. Jankovic. Oh, you skied the shit out of it. Oh. Okay. It's going to be one nothing. Okay, good, good. But Akramafit does have the goal to give us the lead at halftime. Awesome. Yeah, keep it there. Keep it there. All right. So who do you think is going to win the league? It's gonna, is it going to be Liverpool, Arsenal, or Man City? Uh, right now I'm trending with Arsenal, but it all depends on how they do at Old Trafford. Liverpool really blew it. They could have been up three to nothing easily. 
and they let Man, Man United get back into it. Yeah, okay, yeah, and I, I wouldn't be surprised, obviously, with Liverpool, especially with Kopp, with Jurgen Klopp leaving. Fuck. Yeah, uh, we just gave, we just, they just tied it. Terrible defending. Yep, Klopp's fairy tale, but uh, tell you what, Arsenal is playing. They're playing lights out. They didn't play particularly well in that Champions League game yesterday, but, oh, look at Yankovic. Oh, 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 that should have been two to one. Okay. Yeah, that would be uh that would be amazing for Klopp to go out with a second uh, Premier League title. But like I said, uh, I think it all depends on what happens uh at Old Trafford when Arsenal go play there. All right. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. But really, if uh, Shabby Sim, oh, you got to make this two to one, bro. And he does. Yeah, but like I said, uh, with Arsenal and Liverpool being a point ahead, if either one of those teams wins every game, it's not going to matter for our Man City. But uh, the thing with Arsenal, they got to go to at Tottenham, and they have to go at Old Trafford. Those are going to be the two uh, banana peels that might really mess it up. And I think uh, I think Liverpool play Tottenham as well. I think overall, Man City's got the easier schedule, but. They're still trying to repeat the Champions League. Okay, we just went up two to one here with Shabby Simmons. Let's let's go ahead and seal this. Let's go ahead and seal the deal here. Let's uh seal this puppy up. Charles. There you go, Diarra. Nice defending. Oh, that was a shit pass. Oh, no. Oh, what a save by Walton. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, ooh. Wow. So you think uh, Aston Villa is going to... They're going to try to spoil it for a uh, clock. Oh, nice move by the young... By uh, Silva there. Oh, bio. Toll. Matheson. Toll. Foul. Mm. Ooh, that's going to be a tough battle right there with Aston Villa. That's it. It's a wrap. It's three to one. A thief. A thief. Oh, what a save. What a save. Yeah, that's right, because uh, I think uh, Tottenham is in fifth. So they're hot on your trails. And so is, uh, I think, Man United is in sixth as well. So I know you guys are trying to get that Champions League, uh, Champions League spot. Coleman? Oh, a thief should have finished it. Gomez. Dempsey. Oh, Yankovic with a great steal. No, not a good pass, though. Dempsey. Williams. Williams. Oh, good job, Yankovic. And he keeps it in bounds. Oh, what a brilliant passing. Bio. 
that's it. We got this. That it. Three to one. Bio with a goal. Okay. So you guys will have bottled it against Brentford, huh? All right. Well, uh, I'm telling I'm I'm really enjoying this, uh really enjoying this episode. It's a pl it's such a pleasure to meet you, young man. And thank you for following my channel. Thank you for your support. I, I come on about five, six nights a week right around this time. I know it's like two, three in the morning over there in England. So I wish I had more of a I wish I had more followers from England watching this show, but you know, because of the time difference, it's hard for me to you know, it's hard to go live. Like, it's kind of easier on Sundays, because Sundays usually, you know, if it's 8 in the morning, here, oh, offsides, okay, let's start making some subs. Uh, yeah, so it is it is easier, like on a Sunday morning, if I come on at 8 in the morning, our time, it's 2 o'clock, yeah, and then obviously you're, oh, so your wife is, is asleep as well, so obviously... You got to take that into consideration. Let's put Bustos in for Simmons. Done his job. Let's get Wilson in for Arthur, who played well. And let's put Nonto in for Afif. And I think that should do it. All right. I think with these subs, I should be able to hang on to this lead. And get a much-needed win. Almeida Santos. Good pressure. Yaya. Collins. Diarra. Oh, excellent by Diarra. Nanto. Anchor. Nice job. Silva. Silva. Two bustos. And it's four to one. All right. We got this. Uh, this young man, Juan Mabustos, number 18 that you're going to see here, he's another product from the Youth Academy. Uh, my, one, of my, one of my scouts got him, and then I put him in the Youth Academy from Argentina. Uh, he's going to be really good in that midfield. Okay, yeah, it'll probably be morning, and then, you know, obviously, you know, like, like you, I'm sure, I, you know, I work all day, so... Uh, this is really the only time I have to kind of to kind of stream, but I'm I'm making the best of it. Um, but I would I would love to have a. It'd be nice to have a. A following in England, and then uh you know eventually I'll. I'll do another career mode. Oh, okay, that was a weak shot. Uh, this is the fourth one. I started out doing a, uh, I started out doing a Bradford City one. I didn't finish that one. Then I went, uh, I did a Blackpool one, and that was when I was on the PS4. Uh, that one was, uh, that one was wildly entertaining. Then I did a Preston North End one. And then from the Preston North End one, I did the Bristol City one. And with the Bristol City one, on that career mode, I did the quadruple. So with uh, having the quadruple done, there was nothing else for me to do. And so I started this, uh, did some research, learned about Derby County. I know Brian Claw used to manage uh, Derby County before he went to Nottingham Forest. So uh, I chose... Uh, Oh, nice job, Diarra. And now, Nonto. Oh, Nonto, how'd you give up the ball so easily? Yayo, Matheson. Charles. Clever. Clever, right here, number 24. Another product of the Youth Academy. He has had a very good match at a... At a Left wing back. He's kind of on the small side, but he's been very effective. So I'm glad I, I'm glad I gave him a start. All right, let's go. Let's finish this off. Let's not give up another goal. 
Good. All right, done. Very good performance right here. We go to Bolton and we beat them four to one. So we should be able to jump up into the in the standings. There I am shaking hands with the uh, Bolton manager. Needed needed this win. Got a win in the Europa League too. Shabby Simmons, the man. Got a goal to put us up two to one. And uh, we pretty much took over from there. So let's take a look at let's look at the performance ratings. Let's look at the highlights and then the post match interview. Let's look at the ratings. Uh, man of the match, Shavi Simmons, 8.4. I think everybody was uh, pretty solid. Uh, Afif gets a goal. Yankovic with an assist. Bayo with a goal. Bustos with that last goal. This young man, he's he's going he's going places. Uh, Simmons, a goal and an assist. Calabria Silva, another product of our youth academy, uh, gets an assist. Arthur. Uh, with an assist. Walton had a good match despite the goal. 1860 Munich. Uh, see, I don't know a whole lot about the Bundesliga. Uh, I know that Bayern Leverkusen is tearing it up, though, with uh, Xabi Alonso. But I think that it was good for him not to go to Liverpool. I think it's a little too early for that. Maybe a couple of more years, then he can go to Liverpool. Depending on ha what happens with that Portuguese guy that uh, Liverpool is about to hire. Okay, here's all the goals. Look at this, Arthur, right here to a thief. A beautiful, beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. And that's that's how it's going up one nothing. Hmm. Yeah, I know they're the redheaded stepchild of uh, Bayern Munich. Xavi Simmons right here in the 56th minute with a great pass from Yankovic. He wasn't missing. Two to one. Yeah, I'll have to read up on uh, 1860 Munich. I know they're levels, 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 levels below Bayern Munich. That made it two to one. Then right here, Bayo in the 73rd minute. Great pass from Xavi Simmons. Great through pass. That basically sealed the deal right there. Great goal. Sometimes Bio misses sitters, and that's really what frustrates me about him. And his passing tends to be shit. But again, watch that. Uh, watch that uh, episode that I told you about against Chelsea. Uh, he made a big difference. And then here's Bustos, clever with the pass. Bustos, his second goal, second career goal. Like I said, this young man, he's he's going places. He's going to be a star for this team. I think with this team, our defense is kind of weak. I think our strong point has been uh, the midfield for the most part. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, Sheffield United, the league leaders, they tied against Swansea City. So we just got two points closer to them. So I'm happy about that. Uh, why weren't your opponents able to compete today? You know, listen, they just couldn't handle our uh, attacking play. Hmm. I'm not sure about uh, 1860 meter. Like I said, I'll have to read up on them. I, I don't know a lot about them. What did you do differently today? Uh, we were resilient, and uh, I, think we domi I think we dominated the game, in spite of the fact that we gave up a goal. I think we were better the entire 90 minutes. You can, Did you control the game from start to finish? Uh, we deserved our goals, and uh, we were better today, and, and the scoreline showed it, and uh, I'm very happy with this win. Very happy. Okay. Look at this. The Carabao Cup against Aston Villa. I'm going to be honest. I uh, Let's see. Uh, oh, okay. Let's see. A sports club, the sports currently plays in, okay, they're in the third division, third tier, so they're way down there. Uh, 1963, they were champions of West Germany in 66. 
Okay, and uh, hmm, interesting. I think that I think they've got the league three, league three here, in uh in this game. Look at this next game, Carabao Cup against Aston Villa. What a coincidence that I've got an Aston Villa fan here. Uh, I really don't care about the Carabao Cup, to be honest. Um, I'm trying to get to the Premier League, but you know what? Since I got you here, I think I'm going to play this match just for you. So here we go. Uh, let's see the youth. But before that, let's go to the emails. Let's go to the youth squad reports. And uh, listen, this guy here is out of our youth academy, Torsten Schmidt. He's already a 67 overall. Uh, he's about to be a 68 overall. He's only 15 years old. He's got 94 potential. This guy is going to be my star goalkeeper right here. And he's still not 16. Uh, we've got this Marvin Peters. He's a six. Well, he's a, hold on. We've got then this guy, Breno Fernandez. He's a uh, 63 overall. I think I'm going to be uh, promoting him very soon. Uh, same thing with the Enrico Colombo from Italy, 63 overall. Uh, Peters, I'm still, I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's already, he's ready yet to be on this team. And uh, same thing with Oliver Short. Uh, if these guys don't get to near 70 by the end of the season, these two guys, I'm going to get rid of them. Uh, Torsten Schmidt, it's just a matter of him turning 16. But he's coming. He's coming. He might be the new Manuel Noor. So, let's, with a chat. Uh, don't blame yourself. Just stay positive. Okay, so, even though I wasn't going to, I don't care about the Carabao Cup, my man, since you took the time to support me, I'm going to support you. So, we're going to we're gonna do this together right here. So, let's rock and roll. Let's go to uh, uh, the Carabao Cup against Aston Villa. Sit back and relax and enjoy this. Uh, they play a 4-4-2. Uh, I don't see a... Uh, I don't see this guy. Uh, oh, Diaby. Okay, they got Diaby on the bench. They've got McGinn on the bench. Two very quality players. Uh, Powell, a great center back. Obviously, Emmy Martinez, the World Cup winning uh, goalkeeper from Argentina. Uh, they've got Holberg. They've got a very good lineup. Uh, Makoko. They play that 4-4-2. They've got Reese James on this team for this season. They use a lot of wing play. Their star player is... Uh, Powell, their center back. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, training session. I don't know if I'm going to put my big guns for this game, but we'll see. And, uh, you know, whatever happens in this game, whatever happens, happens. Uh, if uh, if I end up beating uh, Aston Villa here, I hope you don't get a... I hope you don't block me, all right? <laughs> All right, perfect. Yankovic, okay, we're close to the uh, 2,500 points needed. And we should get it right now. So that's done. That's wrap. It's a wrap. Okay, let's uh, get out of Dodge here. All right, so just for you there, Mr. Bold, I'm gonna play this match against Aston Villa in the Carabao Cup. Let's go to kickoff. Let's see who's rested and who's not. Uh, I'm going to start Doak instead of Yankovic. And uh, I'm going to I'm gonna play Nonto instead of Fif. I'm going to start Prestiani. Uh, Hope, not there yet. So I'm going to put Kitching, sit Hope down. I'm going to put anchor there. Uh, let's see. I'll keep my Debo. Silva will sit. Ooh. You know what? I'm going to put Cunha. I'm going to put him and Gardner, the young, uh, the young man, my prospect, my star center back. He's going to be captain 
for this Carabao Cup match against Aston Villa. Okay. Fantastic. Let's rock and roll. Let's see what we can do against Aston Villa. It's ought to be good. The Rams rock and rolling. I think that's you right there, Mr. Bowl. I think that's you with the megaphone chanting for Aston Villa. So it uh, looks like you'll be at the game. You'll be sitting in the uh, Aston Villa visiting section. All right. So here's your chance to root for Aston Villa against Darby County. Kickoff, Madibo, Gardner, Kitchen, Gardner, Madibo, Madibo, Bio, shoots, the post. Oh, oh, shtick. Coco, Ramsey, Camera, Makoko. Oh, what a save by Cunha. Look at the composure by Gardner, Madibo. Okay, James, Reese James, good job there. Camera, Nonto. Superb defending. Kitchen. Aiden Gardner. Go. By oh, he was going for a Madibo there. Makoko. Buen dia. Stick. Makoko. Oh, what a move by. Okay, Buen dia. Good tackle there. That was world class by Aiden Gardner. Balter. Oh no. Coco. Gardner again. Oh, Ben Doe. Beautiful move. There. Here we go to Prestiani. Prestiani. Oh, overshot it there. James. Pow. Camera. Reese James. Pow. Shit. Hoiberg. Oh, what a save by Cunha. Cunha has shown to be a very good backup keeper. Uh, made the key saves in the uh made the key saves in the penalty shootout to beat uh Liverpool in the community shield. Ramsey. Buen dia. Makoko. Hoiberg. Off the post. Okay, so they uh, they miss a shot off the post. Cunha. Cunha is on form today. King Wilson. Doke. Prestiani. Tobio. To Doke. Oh, that would have been one nothing right there. Good, good defending by Smith. Hoiberg. Camera. Pow. Camera. Buen dia. Oh, no. Makoko with his speed. Okay, Kitchen. Good job. Prestiani. Doke. Ben Doke. Oh, good save. Great save by Martinez. Oh, Bayo, what are you thinking? Alex Moreno. Ramsey. Holberg. Ramsey. Alex Moreno. Ramsey. 
we're going to be having a big impact. Makoko. Oh, nice. Nice defending. There. Bueno. Oh, good. Good defense by Schmidt, Smith there. Oh, bio, bio. Ooh, oh, he missed. Oh, that should have been. That should have been one nothing. Oh, he does this all the time. Okay. Moreno. Doak had a good steal there. Hoiberg. Smith. And Coco. What a first half for Aiden Gardner. Kitching. Oh, pow. Oh, shit. Okay. Ramsey. Crap. Ramsey destroys Balker there. Oh, one nothing. One nothing, Villa. Let's see who scored that. Shick. And there he's running to Una Emery. Celebrations for Aston Villa. But uh, it's still early. All right, hey, give I'll give you all props there. But we still got time here. Madibo, oh what? Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right. That actually worked out in our favor there. Good, good sliding tackle by Powell there. By Pau Torres, a quality center back. There. Okay, he tried to go for that through pass there. Didn't get it. Oh, man. Hmm. Okay. Gardner. Madiba. Oh, come on, bro. Reese James is there. Oh no. Ah, two nothing. Schick again. Giving us the business. Oh, it's not looking good for the Carling Cup. But oh well. All right. Two goals within the last five minutes of the first half for Schick. And we're down two to nothing at halftime in the Carling Cup. Round four, I believe. All right, let's see what we can do here. Schick. Looking for the hat trick. Ramsey. Holberg. Okay. Oh, buen dia. No. Oh, oh Cunha. Good save. That's going to be a corner. Okay. See if we can get a goal here. But Estiani, oh, he had a steal there. Oh, wow. Oh, should have been 3 nothing Villa there. Okay. Ramsey. Oh, no, 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 no. Gardner, good composure. Good composure. Okay, Prestiani getting on a run here. Oh, is he going to take it himself? He might. And it's two to one. Great job. Great job there by uh, Prestiani taking it himself and now Nonto with the goal. And now uh, the lead is cut in half. We're trailing Aston Villa two to one. Prestiani, he he kind of outmuscled Pau Torres there, and gets the pass to a uh, Nonto, and Nonto slots it in.
and it's two to one, but you guys still have the lead. So, but I know Naima is not happy. You guys are still leading though. Camera. Buen dia. Oh, what a move. That was a slick move there. Reese James. Uh-oh. Kitching. Buen dia. Here we go. Madibo. Prestiani. Look at that pass. To Kane Wilson. Bio. Wilson. Shoots. Oh. Good defending there. And look at that chip pass to Buendia. Man, Buendia is a good player. Camera. Buendia. Schick. Buendia. Oh, Kitching. Kitching. Good job botting him. Okay, Madiba. Uh oh. Okay, Nonto. Oh, good job. Good job by Paul Torres there. Buen dia. Buen dia having a sensational match. Schick. Hoiberg. Mokoko. Oh, good save by Cunha. 23 minutes left. That should have done it. Okay, good clearance. Another corner for Vila. Okay, Kamza is out. Smith comes in. Mukoko. Oh! Monsa. Oh, what a save. That should have been 3 to 1 right there. Corner. Buen dia. Bueno. Oh, oh, that's that's at least three scoring opportunities that they had. Wilson, oh, what are this? What is this? Dope. Oh, Bio. Oh, Pau Torres, superb. That was superb defending. Pau, giving us the Pau there. Oh, Madibo. Bio. Oh, Bob Moreno's there. Oh, we've got 15 minutes left. Ramsey. Oh, Madibo. Superb. Oh, but Hoiberg is there to take it from Doak. Okay, okay Reese James. Oh, buen dia. Makoko, good save by Cunha. Okay, 10 minutes left. Oh, had to do that. Makoko, okay. Okay, we have seven minutes left. We got some drama here. All right, bio. For Jinsu, I got to put a thief in. Got to put Yankovic in. And I got to put Simmons in. And I got to put Bustos in. All right, I got a, I got five minutes here to, I got about seven, eight minutes to do something here. I just use all my subs. Go. Gardner. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do there. Kitching. Camera. 
Reese James. Oh, Kitching. Okay. All right, Kitching. That was good. Bueno. Gene Sue. Okay. Amy Martinez with the save. Okay. High drama here, possibly. Uh oh. Shit. Okay, that'll be a corner. Three minutes left of stoppage time. Shabby Simmons. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yankovic. Uh, is that a foul or what is that? Oh, he, he didn't get him. He didn't make the shot. Okay. Well, it looks like Aston Villa is coming out with a 2-1 win. They do. Okay. Props to you. We're out of the Carling Cup. Excuse me. We're out of the Carabao Cup. 2-1 win for Aston Villa. So you get to walk out with a victory today. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Uh, this will be the last uh, match of this uh, of this episode. Uh, after we're done with all the analysis here, I'm going to just call it a night. Pleasure to meet you. I'll give you your props here. Let's look at uh, performances. I don't think it was bad overall. Uh, Nonto with our goal, Prestiani with an assist, but, you know, Cunha, pretty good. He had uh, 10 saves, so we're not going to blame him. Let's skip the uh, post-match interview. Let's advance. Like, uh, Manchester City eliminates Liverpool. But, you know, like I said, the Carling Cup isn't something that's not not a real priority. So we've got a few uh, days off here. And our next match is going to be against Luton Town. Uh, right now, we sit in fourth uh, with 19.7 behind Sheffield uh, United after 10 matches. And let's see where Luton Town sits. Luton Town sits in the middle. They're sitting in 11th place. So that'll be uh, where I start my next uh, my next episode, which will be episode five. So, hey, uh, thank you. Good to meet you. Uh, I've got a Carlin Cup. Oh, excuse me. I've got a uh, next episode. I'll play that. And then I'll have my second uh, Europa League match. And then I'll probably play the match against Rotter, uh, Rotterdam Town. So, uh, thank you for watching uh, season two, episode four of my. Yeah, I should. Uh, I'll get sleep later. It's only it's only nine o'clock out here in uh, Kansas City. You should. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I misread that. Yeah. You should get some sleep. But thank you for joining the show. Uh, if you want to uh, donate to my show right there is my uh, cash app dollar sign veterans gaming 24. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is at smooth op 75. Thank you for following me on uh, Twitch and uh, YouTube and TikTok. If you if your friends want to follow me, uh, my channel is Veterans Gaming Podcast, all in lowercase. And on my YouTube channel, you can look at all my career modes. And when you get the chance, check out episode 16 of last season, of season one, that Chelsea game. Greatest game you'll ever see in your life. Until the next episode, this is Kevin, and this has been the Veterans gaming podcast.